Today we're going to be talking about fractions. So get ready. Because the brains are about to explode with some learning. How do you find an equivalent fraction? Well, that's a great question that you're asking. One thing you could do is multiply with the same number on the top and the bottom. That's right, because two out of two is the same as one. Three out of three is the same as one. Four out of four is the same as one. So when we multiply, they're equivalent. We ain't changing the amount, we ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. We ain't changing the amount, we ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. When we multiply something by one, we already know it stays the same. Here's the reason. One group of two is still two. One group of four is still four. One group of five is still five. And we could do this all day, a million times. So when we multiply a fraction by something equal to one, the amount doesn't do any changing. We're just changing the number of equal parts. We ain't changing the amount. We ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. Well, parts, we ain't changing the amount. We ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. On this next one, I want you to do it with me. Are you ready? We ain't changing the amount. We ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. We ain't changing the amount. We ain't changing the amount. We just changing the number of equal parts. You think you got it? All right, let's review. Number one, equivalent fractions show the same amount. Notice that one half and two fourths show the same amount. They're equivalent, which comes from the word equal, which means they're the same. Number two, one way we can find equivalent fractions is to multiply by a fraction with the same top and the same bottom. So in this one, we're multiplying by two halves or two over two. Because a fraction with the same numerator and denominator is the same as one whole. Notice that two halves are shaded, two out of two pieces. That's the same as eating the whole pizza. So when we find equivalent fractions, we're not changing the amount. We're just changing the number of equal parts of the whole. One half and two fourths show the same amount, but there's two equal parts in one half. Or I'm sorry, in two halves, and there's four equal parts here. So one half and two fourths are the same amount, it's just the number of equal parts is different. And now, I think you got it. So if you like this video and you like the vibe, don't be afraid. Go ahead, click and subscribe. Got more stuff coming at you next time. Miss Davis, out.